Welcome to Jerry Berry Acts. Today, we're going to react to Season 2, Episode 10 of uh, Legacies, which is entitled, This is Why We Don't Entrust Plans to Muppet Babies, which is going to be a quote from Lizzie Saltzman to Landon Kirby. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out in the open. That's my prediction. That's my guess. Oh, this is why we don't entrust plans to Muppet Babies. Roll credits, and we were right that it was Lizzie saying it, but I thought maybe for a second Hope would just be a little bit of a dick. But uh, hey, after missing the last two, we caught this one, didn't we? Last episode was more of, hey, this is who Sebastian is. This is not really who he was, but here's some tidbits of him, and this is the rising of the Necromancer. That's it. And Landon and Hope uh, kind of made up a little bit along with, or Landon and Joe made up a little bit kind of along with Hope as well. So last episode was nice, but as the kind of premiere for the second part of the season, it didn't hit the way I think I wanted it to hit, but I think it served its purpose. So I'll go ahead and put Jerry behind the scenes and let's watch. Uh, no, nothing to skip in the intro here. So I don't know if something's going to pop up or not, but we're starting out with some little kids. Ooh, something happened at your house, little lady. And one a fucking teddy bear elephant. Is this your friend? Oh, never mind. Okay, it's nobody. It's just a lark. Thought it was gonna be Billy Bob Thornton giving a child a uh, a pink elephant from Bad Santa. Is this Alyssa? Mr. Wrinkles. Well, that's a good name. Lark, no beard. Alyssa. It was either Alyssa or I was going to be racist. There was like no in between on me guessing the name right there. Nice to meet you, Alyssa. Now, do you think you and Mr. Wrinkles would like to go on a trip? She done turned you to fucking the goddamn Willy Wonka girls. Little two little Thanos babies. Alyssa Chang's on the warpath again. So we're just going to build up Alyssa here a little bit. All right, all right, all right, all right. What the hell? Are you blind? Well, there's Jed. I spelled the knob to do not disturb. I need it. My chemistry is magic. Textbook. And more importantly, why are you on my bed? Right. I thought it'd be nice if it saw some action. I'm sorry. I hope. Bro, if my roommate, and he wouldn't have, would have ever. That's a whole big discussion. I never even thought about some shit like that. That's terrible. That's a downright travesty. I'm crashing at Landon's. As you should. Have fun holding hands. That's just a guitar player for Slipknot. I don't know. Ain't nothing crazy happening here. Also, dude, somebody pointed out that Lizzie and Josie's room number is 23. Because at age 22 is when they have their merger. So one of them would never get to see 23. And how fucked up is that? Bro, you need therapy. Where's Emma at? <laughs> Hashtag bloop. Absolutely not. But no, this is perfect. There's a celestial event tonight. A meteor shower. And that is what we need to make the Ascendant work, right? Yeah, that and Bennett Blood. No, I said no. I will figure this out, okay? No prison world, sorry girls. Don't do anything while I'm gone. That means they're gonna do everything. It's bad enough that Sebastian- Not gonna let us anywhere near that prison world was our psychotic Uncle Guy. Then what if we send it to a different one? Make a new Ascendant and a new- Y'all need to stay away from Kai in general. We're calling him Uncle Kai, even if he is related, bro. That brother's name is just Kai. With Aunt Bonnie. I mean, we can't do this alone. Then I'll find someone. We'll call Bomb Bomb, bro, which y'all can't get Cat Graham in for a couple minutes. She said, fuck okay, that, that shit, bro. I'm out. <laughs> Especially if Julie pecking around. <laughs> oh, poked him in the belly button and swept the leg. Okay, um, to be clear, when I asked for training, I sort of meant for beginners. To celebrate. And to take pride in being a witch. To learn about the individual covens that make up our magical community. Hey, like uh, the Gemini coven. Nice chain. No, not today. That's some, that's some big ass glasses. I fuck with it. Dramatic entrance. Glad you decided to join us. 
Sorry, I just really didn't want to be here. <laughs> we'll talk later. It's it's like I don't know. Maybe Penelope's character did run its course. So they kind of came up with an exit for her. Maybe she landed another gig or something. But it feels like this would be a perfect spot for her character. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else or not, but it does to me. For the rest of you, I'm a fairy. Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's go, bro. I know it's out there, um, but fairies enjoy honey. Yes, so they're is incredibly tidy. So is Winnie the Pooh, they bro. They love to sing. Yeah, uh, just like. Me. But that's also super wholesome. And Winnie uh, the Pooh's what we called Kai. Also I never knew my parents. Aww, so Bubba. maybe they were eaten by Malivore. Maybe you could be eaten by Malivore so we can forget your whole presentation. <laughs> <laughs> can you just shut the fuck up, please? Like, oh my goodness gracious, are you okay? Girl, you gotta watch your step. This cat is doing this really insane thing. I have shelving that's above me, right? So you can't, my arm is almost touching it. <laughs> Sniff me. <laughs> yeah. So the, uh, uh, she fell from it earlier. She's a cat, she's fine. But then apparently when I was gone from the room, she fell again. And just now there's, you know, I have an L-shaped, I have two desks that I've, I've formed into an L-shaped desk. And she misstepped. Yeah, you're licking your little paw because you kind of probably hurt it a little bit, didn't you? Big yawn. Ah. That's a good kitty. I'm sorry, completely distracted me. This girl, uh, you need therapy and there's something deep inside of you. Like, I need you to like give me something that's, oh, okay, this is why you're acting this way. To just being an outright asshole. Wade's up here pouring his heart out. Bro said he's a fairy. Fuck it, he's a fairy. He likes honey, he likes to sing. You ain't gotta be a dick about it. It's bad enough y'all can't remember his bro's name. Does anyone else see you? A waste of fairy space? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, fuck it, let, let him be. Yep. I don't know how it got here, but it's definitely real. I saw it. You said it's invisible. Not to fairies. He's from the Fae world. So, and my guy right there, bro. To try a meditative exercise. They are so soft. Only you. I thought he said you're so soft, and I was like, great. Now he's fucking creepy. Who can er. them all? It's Rick, what'd you do? Murder him? Well, you're gonna have to give me a lawyer before I answer that question, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes closed. Back in the box, and she's gonna be like, oh my god, you desecrated my boyfriend, Dad. I'm so mad at you now. Focus. On the silence. I'm so mad at you. We're gonna activate the ascendant and go to prison world. Family. Unlike you. At least that oh, girl. <laughs> She's gonna get caught in this cable. Yeah, enough of all that, bro. Turn that shit into some butterflies like Doctor Strange. Everyone, go to your rooms and cool off. He walked around that kumbaya circle and whispered a little something, something in everybody's ears and got them. Turn them into Lizzie. a circle jerks. See my pun there? Lizzie. Something's wrong. I will tell you what is wrong. Something's okay. wrong. That I can hair? feel it. That shirt? Oh. Okay. I see you have a point there. Uh-huh. What is going on? And challenge me to a dance off. Oh. That feels a little racist. I'm just gonna put it a dance off. That's the word you chose. They're funny. Let's go play fetch. Do it. Y'all might as well fight because at that point, yes, when people talk shoulder to shoulder, and like, come on, then what's up, them? What's up, them? What's up, them? 
And nobody ever does nothing. That happens. Justin. It's been years, Emma. It's much less impressive when you give the hero speeches. That was all me. That was, okay. yeah, 100%. That was in plan? there, yeah. Then I get back home. Damn, I really feel like the perfect moment, but it has to go awry and then she'll say it. All right, all right. And Maya is on her best behavior, and you do not have to be a cop to realize oh, that she's hiding something. Yeah. That's when I hear a noise in the living room. I open the closet door to find. Let me guess, it's a girlfriend. I wish. It was like a clown car in there. Five kids, one keg. I don't even know how they all squeezed in there. Yikes. <laughs> me? Oh, at least I can open up. You're never emotionally available. Emotionally available? You took a job in Japan. And you never told me how that made you feel. Um... What? That's not. What, did you all see the smoke pop up or something? Because that seemed preemptive. Y'all were pointing. But he shouldn't have to, like, you, you wanted to see how, what? Why would you wait to see how that made him feel? I don't know, man. There's a little bit of manipulation in that, too, Emma. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that out. He just palm dread and you're unconscious. Mashed potato brains reminds me of Sam. It's like when Ray saw her dark side version. Josie, wake up. Joe, are you okay? What happened? Monster. Uh, Emma put up a barrier spell, so the Kareen's stuck in here with us. It took the sand clock. The sand clock? Why? It doesn't matter. We just need to get it back. We need to get we it back ASAP. Out, okay? We are three mm -hmm. badass witches and one moderately competent bird. So if the sand clock gets damaged, something really bad is going to happen. It's fair. We need to exploit a weakness to take it down fast. Except Landon's research into that was about as useful as his fighting skills. I don't think he's infected. I think he just wanted to say what he wanted to say with that, being able to get away with it. Maybe Lizzie, or maybe uh, Hope would be the one to say she the title to her you. or to him. Sorry, monster. Well, I'm unaffected by its powers. And when I was hanging out with you, the Kareen couldn't infect me. I'm 100% behind you. Wholesome beans, bro. And I'm not alone. Wade, 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 Wade. Are people calling my name? It's fucking right, Wade, baby. Yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot, Chevy tuned up like a NASCAR pit stop. Oh, this is why we don't entrust plans to Muppet babies. Roll credits, and we were right that it was Lizzie saying it, but I thought maybe for a second Hope would just be a little bit of a dick. But uh, hey, after missing the last two, we caught this one, didn't we? I believe, and I'll prove it. I believe in a thing called love. What the hell are you doing? Trusting in Wade. Wait, we can't break the sand clock. Come on, Wade, bro. You man, me. I got this hope. Fairy wings. Let's go, baby. Look at that boy. Landon made sure of it. Oh, dude's like all fairy, like for real. Yeah, like he tried to fucking tell y'all. Fairy dust. Catch it. Whoop. Yoink. <laughs> Another crack in the glass. It's a good mix of prosthetic, like actual prosthetics, practical effects. And a little bit of CGI. He tried to tell y'all he was a fairy, bro. He loves honey and boy loves to sing. I don't know why y'all ever doubted him. It's a little fucked up, TBH. I'm sorry, I didn't know you needed help. Sister, sister. I love you. She loves I you too. 
Now, witches, focus on assembling these pieces into a new ascendant that will lead to a new prison world. Y'all are asking for fucking trouble. Well done, but it's not over. She sounds like the generic voice in like a, a massive open world RPG that tried to put in a convoluted story, but just instead like wanted to rush and get their game out ahead of schedule. We must pull together and channel our energy as one to banish the sand clock before it breaks. Banish the sand clock before it breaks and ends all of time and continuation. Only you, chosen hero, can now go amongst the journey and slay the endless waves of the same enemy for the next 12 to 15 hours. We all gotta stick together, right? Oh, there's the fucking blood of a Bennett. Is that from Bonbon? Bon? I'll keep that shit on tap. I don't think it's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy just like that. Uh, look at that, we did it, bro. In the back, shaking each other. Let's go. Piano music. You gonna give him a smooch before you leave? You just gonna walk around like angry, and I'm gonna be stronger than anybody thought I was. Was a, was a good bar right there for what's going on. You finished your novel? <laughs> no. I you know I shouldn't care. Sebastian wasn't a great guy, but he'll be back. Don't worry. He's just he's in your basement. Um, I got room for one more in the cry pile. Come on, girl, bring it in. I love this level of friendship between these three. I think Landon might. It's Klaus's daughters just. <laughs> oh. Oh fuck no. Something don't went awry. You look very happy, Alyssa. What do you think? Trying to figure out how all this ties together here. I've been trying, like, in my brain, grasp at straws, but I think I just have to wait for the show to tell me. Yep. I remembered other things. Like what you did to me. And what Dr. Saltzman did to those other kids. This must be very confusing for you. But I can explain. Let me go and get Dr. Saltzman. That won't be possible. What did you do, Alyssa? I sent them away. Just like you sent the others. I thought it was poetic justice. Did y'all send kids to a prison world? But she told you right in front of you that she was going to mind wipe you. You said you wanted to stay. So. That's not possible. You'd need the Ascendant and Bennett blood. Or I would just need to use a linking spell. <laughs> I've been waiting for an opportunity for weeks. I added a time delay spell so no one would realize what happened until it was too late. That's what Bartimus, yeah. You can thank Bartimus yep. for that one. Get up. We're bringing them back. How? The meteor shower's over. The dice gone. You little shit. She done wham back. I don't remember any of this. That feels poetic too. Poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I'm lifting you 10 feet in the air. I don't care who was there and who saw me. Just jaw, you will call, you will lower, you file, you will lawsuit. I'll buy you a wardrobe and smile in the court. What the hell did you do? Smart man, dude. Dad? Where are we? We're in a prison world. So that means fucking Kai Kai's right around the goddamn corner. Why are we here? I'm guessing Alyssa Chain wants to teach me a lesson. Fancy meeting you here.
Hashtag boop. I mean, what's Rick to do as a father? Fuck, you know. A monster wrecks havoc on Coven Day. Alaric and Lizzie work to protect Josie from dark magic inside the Mora Mizero. And then ask Hope for training. I feel like this should have been the mid-season start. Uh, but that's juicy, boy. They're in Kyle Parker's prison world. He, he's got to show up now at this point. I don't, I don't think there's a way around it. But so he didn't desecrate Sebastian. He just sent them off to a prison world because fuck him. So that means he's done that to other students in the past. Rick, what have you done, bro? What have you done? This is terrible. But just as they start getting along, boop, just as we thought Alyssa and Hope were getting along, she then goes and pulls this shit. So we got to get her background information. But they told you they were going to mind wipe you right there in front of you. So why are you acting shocked and fucking... This is unbelievable. Who gives a shit? Who fucking cares? They told you. Whatever. But now they're in the prison world. It opens up. I don't know. Like, how does this tie into the necromancer stuff? Obviously, we get Rick and Matt getting a little closer together. We get, y'all should listen to Wade in the first place. Boy's a fairy. He's out and about. Free as could be. Emma being back. Saying, I don't know. There, there's so many. I feel like I had so many more things to say. And now it's slowly leaving me as we're now at the end of this. I. Now Hope's going to figure out a way to get him back from the prison world. Man, I just, I love the end of season five with, with Damon and Bonnie, and I, I just. Just throwing the third world, throwing the prison world type deal. There's all good stuff involved. Man, I'm now mad because there was more I wanted to say. You still listen to Wade in the first place. Um, hope and and landon's little thing and she's like hey i love you but like i need you to not be a hero like remain the sidekick but he doesn't want to do that so you got to like appreciate his wishes and then this whole time raf's been with his dad which means jed's kind of been the leader of this pack we don't know when raf will be back um it's taking some time away hopefully he can get to rekindle that relationship with his father but i guess we just wait for the next episode like i i'm a little conflicted I like this, but I feel like there was more that I wanted to fucking say. If I think about it, we can come back around to it, start the next episode. If not, it is what it is. Season 2, episode 10. This is why we don't entrust plans to Muppet Babies. Season 2, episode 11 is What Cupid Problem? As always, links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.